like Tiffany Lanier. She's up next. She's a life coach. And she's going to remind you that you might not be broke. You could just have a broke mindset. Give it up for Tiffany Lanier, folks. Whether you grew up broke or you become broke, it's never pleasurable. There's nothing fun about not having enough money to do what you want to do. Being broke usually leaves us uncomfortable, irritable, and oftentimes depressed. Usually we blame being broke on poor economic conditions, inflation, and the infamous J-O-B, which many would agree leaves them just to over broke. But what if I told you being broke was really in your mind? Now you may be thinking, uh, no it's not. It's clearly a reflection of my bank account statement. Well, I'm here to tell you that I don't think many of us are that financially broke. We just have a broke mindset. And it's not only seen in our finances, but how we live our lives. More often than not, do we look at the glass as half empty. We find contentedness and mediocrity and have a tendency to play it small, but why? Today I aim to answer those questions and explain to you why you're not broke, you just have a broke mindset. But more importantly, how to overcome it by living bold and purpose-driven. In comparison to most of the world, everyone in this room is rich. More than 50% of the world's population lives off less than $2 a day, and 80% of all of humanity lives off 10. $10 a day here can barely buy us a meal at a local restaurant. So in a world where you're considered rich, why do you feel so broke? For starters, we compare ourselves to one another way too much, always trying to keep up with the Joneses. Or in today's world, it's always going to be the Kardashians. So many of us are trying to keep up with the Kardashians that it leaves us in a place of envy and discontentment because we simply can't afford what they have. So. The side effects of that mentality is unnecessary amounts of debt and a dark spiral hole of consumerism that we just can't seem to get ourselves out of. So what keeps you in this broke mindset? Well, I've come up with four reasons. Reason number one is gratitude. You don't have enough of it. Too many of us complain about all the things that we don't have versus appreciating every little thing that makes our lives wonderful every day. Number two is the fear of failure. No one wants to feel like a failure or feel inadequate. Thus, when a situation occurs that failure could happen, we avoid it at all costs, never risking more to do better. Number three is the opposite of the fear of failure, and that is the fear of success, which is a real fear. Too many of us are afraid that we'll become so successful that it may change us and others will look at us differently, or that we can gain so much success so quickly that we can't sustain it and eventually we will fail. Number four is your two risk efforts. You look at risk as the possibility of losing what you have versus the opportunity to gain something more. For me, not taking a risk is a risk I'm not willing to take if being broke is a state I don't wish to be in. I call not taking risks settling. In order to overcome these broke mentalities, we must decide to live bold. Appreciate everything that we have, but know that we are capable of so much more. With so many resources available here in America, there's only a few factors that keep us broke and prevents us from acquiring wealth. And one of those is our mindset, and the other is the underutilizations of the tools and resources available at our fingertips. Today we have the internet. It is a vast world of knowledge that is easily accessible, yet many of us still do not use it to its fullest potential. There we can create and share our visions with the world, and even create an income if we wanted to. All we have to do is share our special gifts and expertise. Gifts and expertise that people are willing to pay for if you can provide value to the marketplace. So you may be thinking, well, yeah, but what value do I have? Guess what? You're valuable. You see, being broke has become more than just a financial and mindset issue. It's become a disorder. We've convinced ourselves that we're not capable, that it's impossible to change our lives, that we can't create more or be more. When in reality, this is the perfect time for us to live out our dreams and our bigger vision. And not in that go live your dreams cliche kind of way, but strategically dig down and define your vision for your life. And think about what is it that you really want. Ladies and gentlemen, we only have one of these things called life and there's no time to be broke. Whether it's financially, mentally, or emotionally. But you know where there's time for? Visionaries, thinkers, and doers. It's time for us to step outside of our comfort zone and step into our power. 
It is time for you to live bold, create more, and impact your world by being a better you. Thank you. <laughs>